Hey guys, Doug here again with another little, uh, quick little fun little carving of a little bunny bust. Do a little bunny bust today. I've got on, uh, kind of a bunny theme, but uh, this guy's not really Easter, Easter related. He's kind of like your Peter Rabbity looking fella. And, uh, yeah, I've done, uh, I've done them in micro. I've done them in cottonwood. But, uh, and by the way, you will be seeing a cottonwood carving because I want to do another one, more of a more of a March hair look. But anyway, forget that. Today we're doing the little little Peter Rabbitish looking bunny bust, and uh, using a piece of basswood, inch and a half square by four inches tall. And we're going to introduce a, a couple new tools even today that uh, aren't necessary, but uh, they just help a little bit with the eyes. But anyway, that's what we're doing, and uh, yeah, should be good. We got our block of wood here. First thing we're going to do, mark center. I don't even know if we need that center mark, but anyway, uh, we're going to do the cut out the side profile like so. So all we have to do for that is uh, kind of divide my block into three fairly equal sections. All right. The less measurements, the better. So nothing is critical, so we divide it by three. The center line, let's call it the front, even though we're gonna lose the center line, but we're gonna carve out the profile. So to do that, we gotta draw the profile. So if we just kinda of come in, let's say we just draw a little line like so. Let's uh, just kinda of round that. All right, see that? All right, and that would be the the ears. We're just doing this rough, so we're just gonna leave we're gonna leave enough meat like so. And then here we're gonna come in a little bit more, you know, something like that. Right in the center of this block here, we're gonna leave about that much. All right, and it'll come from the ears. We're gonna come down. Like so, All right? And then, and that's roughly your our head. Now we gotta do the same thing on the other side, and then we'll just block it out. But if you have a saw, this is the time. Just go cut it out. But I'm gonna mark this the same on the other side, and then uh, we'll go from there. I'm just gonna take my inch and three quarter knife here and uh, just start. Uh, Working my way around, we're gonna rough that out. Just, uh, I'll be the martyr, pretend I don't have a saw. But, with your carving glove on, there, <laughs> but, uh, we're just gonna work our way around and, uh, yeah, rough it in. So, what I like to do is go from corner to corner and then across the center. Don't get caught up with the prettiness at this point because it's just rough. All right. All right. So with the, the power of uh, fast forward, I'm just going to make this uh, bunny roughed out in high speed. All right, so here we go.
center line back on. All right, so this step is done. All right, we'll move up to this step. Now, I have, uh, here, look at this guy back here. I have had a piece of bark loaded up on the, uh, on the board behind me for a couple days now, but I decided that uh, I'd give you a project, but don't be surprised if you see uh, a big, a big bunny coming on the bark in the future but okay so you can see that so all we're going to do is we're going to round the head and work on the bringing the ears in all right so whatever we do on one side we're going to go over and do the same thing on the other side it's pretty Pretty self-explanatory, but it's a it's a good a good practice to follow, so that you don't uh, get too far off. All right, we can bring in the the neck. All right. I know that uh, some of you are going to struggle if you have a smaller knife too, but like I said before, I'm I'm hogging off. I'm trying to make a a tutorial. And I'm trying to make it quick and keep your attention. But I know a lot of you have smaller knives or this is razor sharp too. But just remember, instead of trying to do the whole thing at once, like I'm doing with my thumb, you can always just do like a corner, you know, start with the corners, taking the corners off and then going across the middle and there's less, less meat left, right? I hate that uh, I'm, I rush these now, but uh, I have to try and keep your attention. And I know there's a, there's a handful of you that say, oh no, you don't have to, but I get the uh, analytics and it's terrible. So if I can make these fast and entertaining and perhaps even, dare I say, inspiring, then uh, you'll do more carving. See that I just took the uh, the corners off. And the same thing in the back. We're just slowly working our way down to uh, to get a good a good head shape. All right. And then once we have our corners, then we can just start rounding, rounding. You can see that nose. Let's look at this. The nose is quite a point. All right really really swoops in All right. so we're going to work our way towards the the nose on the front All right now we'll just keep hopping around the, the carving as we go And then eventually, there'll be a bunny face looking at us. So that piece right there, that's the last of the exterior of that piece of wood. So now we know we're getting, we're getting in because not, not a big, not a big uh, difference, but just a little bit thinner than the, than the shoulders. That's how we're going to end up.
We got some nice rounding going on. Nice little cheeks. Cheeks are getting set there. Alright. Let's just stop for a minute and uh, we can separate the uh, the ears. Alright. There again, if you have a V-tool, you can split the ears. Let me just grab a little V-tool here. You can just run a V-tool up. Split the ears. Keep your keep your fingers out of the way of the tool if it slips. Alright? But if you don't have a V-tool, we'll just use our knife. buying a carving glove. I just saw that when I slipped on that band-aid. The band-aid is hiding a, a scar I have. This is just about totally healed. But uh, I bought these carving gloves. I was going to be all Mr. Safety for you because I hate wearing gloves myself, but I was going to try. But you need some rubber on there. Because they're as slippery as uh, holding on to an icicle. So get some with rubber, rubber, uh, little, little, uh, rubber, what do you call them? Little bumps and stickies on them. Now, I'm going to try something also is, uh, I've ordered a, a tape, a cut resistant tape, and that way I can, I can just wrap the fingers that I'm going to cut. But anyway. That's a total aside. Just making a little little V cut in here, and I'm bringing that uh, base of the ear, giving it some shadow. Yeah. The same thing in the back here. What? Just gonna do a little V cut, three corner cut here. Let me give it some. Some shadow, and we may never touch that again. Right. But now we have to uh, get these ears separated and in shape. So obviously, that's not the shape. So we're gonna. This is right now. This is where if you did the uh, the Easter egg carving, we're at the same point where you can put one ear down. I went over that thoroughly on the Easter video or just keep them up. I think in this case we're going to keep them both up. Do they have to be identical? Nope. You can have one over farther or whatever. They're just uh, floppy ears. Now I'm just going to slide that knife and we're going to have those ears just flowing back. All right.
Yeah, we just keep looking at it and paring them away a little bit deeper, a little bit farther. But we're almost there. So if I look at that, I can say this ear is a little bit fatter. I'm going to bring that down a bit. And that's all it is. Just keep looking at them. I think we're going to stop there for now. We'll tuck in the, the base of them a little bit more. them we'll get to that in a minute that's where we're at it's good shape all right our nose is kind of a let's look at this nose here a little triangle with enough room to have a little mouth area okay so we're going to keep that a little bit a little bit higher than you might think Maybe we'll get that nose up here. I'm just going to uh, take some little stop cuts on here. Oops, see that? A little, little V. And we can... Uh, size it right here maybe we'll make it straight Doug yeah let's make it straight all right come on just sliding see how I just slide my knife don't push just gonna slide it okay now it's a fat nose, so we're going to cut it down, like so. Same on both sides, ideally. <laughs> all right, so there's a rough nose, so we're just going to clean up all around it. We can even take the corners off it. All right. get that back a little bit even the sides of the the nose here I'm gonna just kind of swoop it a little bit if I can do that on both sides remember I'm not cutting into my hand because I'm using my thumb my thumb is the motor so it's only gonna go as far as I let it Same way up to the, the top there, and you can just feel a little bit of a little concave in there, kind of leaving a, a nose ridge up. You see that? Feel that? kind of round this little area below the nose now 
if we look at these eyes, all I do to start these eyes is make a little little line each way. I'll look at them a few times. All right. The nose is not cute. Take these edges off the nose. All right. We'll leave the we'll leave the eyes. Now, all the mouth area is is a little a little drop. And then a little curl up each way. Right. Look at that. <laughs> so for that, I'm going to take my knife. I'm going to a little V cut on each side of that little line. And hopefully we can just pop that out like that. All right. Now from there, I'm just going to do a little straight cut. If I have to do it a couple times, I will, just to make sure it's deep enough. All right. Same on this side. Don't be horsing your knife in here. Just a couple little cuts. And then undercut it. Very carefully. There, see that? We can do a little, a little deep V here if we want. A little bit of a shadow, shadow for a mouth. Yeah. But we're gonna round these edges off here, and uh, that's pretty much the the mouth area. Pencil lines. We can soften those edges too. But anyway, as far as the eyes. I got my brush here. As far as the eyes go, I mentioned we're going to introduce another tool here. I want to uh, I want to deepen the sockets. So to do that, I'm going to take a little a little uh, gouge here. I'm just going to come in. Let's mark this area here. About the same. Not about the same, the exact distance that I want to start. I'm just going to do a little, a little gouge. Just a little, a little hollowing of that eye area. All right. You know, with the, we'll fight the grain. All right. There we go. I'm gonna take some of the sharp edges off. This knife is ready for a for a strop, and when you see white lines starting to show up, it's time to time to strop your knife. But I don't think I got a lot left to do here, so let's just carry on with it. But put our lines back in. Okay, now we're going to put a little ball. So I need to have the exact mark here as I do on this side. I think that's got to be awful close. Okay, now you can just draw a little circle on here. Actually, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to take all these. I'm just going to flare out that, that edge.
you can draw your little circle and then just cut it out but here's a little trick i'm using a little a little dockyard tool here and if i just kind of slide this is like a probably like a number nine if i just kind of put that in there and if i just slide that around i've got a i've got a circle so let's stick with one eyeball and then i'll do the other one off off screen but either you drew a line and you cut it and now we're just going to clean that out making that eyeball Just cutting, trying to leave the the ball of the eye inside there. <laughs> okay. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go from the top of the eye, I'm going to make a V cut towards that line on both sides and hopefully pop it out See that? Do the same thing on the front of the eye and then I can clean it up a little bit better there we go around that ball nicely again you're carving like me but there is the eyeball now I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side all right there's the other eye done see that now if you want to and I guess we could but why don't we just put a little a little V V tool line, just kind of showing a little adds a little bit of character. But if you don't, you don't. I don't. Th I didn't do it on this one. But anything that adds a little bit is always not the worst idea. But anyway, looking at this now, I want these uh, cheekbones out a little bit more. So I'm gonna bring the nose out and try and get those cheeks back again. And when I do that, that means I'm going to have to uh, bring the sides down as well. All right. I really want that, that front area out, so it goes right down, even down here. You can play with it and make it whatever you like but yeah i want to bring that right down bring those sides out a little bit more all right you don't want all these little sharp edges, but again, you can you can fine tune it. Let's move on to we're back to the ears. Same thing. We can take our uh, our V tool and take out our our lines. Let's 
make sure you have control of that v-tool and uh, or again take your knife slice her down And just kind of flare out the, the edges, right? Just kind of lay them a little bit flatter. Yeah, just like that. Okay, for the most part, that's our bunny head, but lots of cleaning up to do. But maybe I'll, uh, let's talk about the, uh, the bottom part here. I'm not going to carve anything here for you. I am going to get that neck down. All right, get that neck down. Nice and clean, skinny your neck. All right, but this guy here, he's got a jacket on. You can put a, you can put a tie, you know, you can do a sweater or you can just leave it as is and just put some, some fur or something, but I'm going to leave it like that. But give me a minute. I'm going to clean up all my little, little rough ends and We'll come back and uh, close her up. All right. So, all right. There is our bunny. A couple things I should have mentioned, maybe, were the the circles for the eyes. Uh, no big deal. Just uh, if you make them, you know quarter inch or less a quarter inch might be too big but uh yeah there's no real particular size and you can look at this guy beside so they're not all the same this guy's head seems to be a little bit fatter than this guy but main thing that uh I, when i cleaned it up i took the ears a little bit deeper and i brought that nose out yet again a little bit just to, to thin thin the, the front here but uh there you go. And like I said, you can put a coat on him, you can put a sweater, you can put a tie, or you can leave it alone. But uh, that's our bunny. There you go. Our bunny there bust. is our little bunny bust all carved up. You can uh, clothe them however you would like. But uh, as far as the painting goes, you know, I like to uh, just thin the regular craft store acrylic paints that you buy in the little, little uh, things. I usually put like one drop of paint and maybe seven or eight drops of water and mix it up and so it's thin so it, so it goes on like a stain instead of like a solid color and uh I had a little bit of cream on the chest and a little bit around the nose and in the ears and the eyeball the base of the eyeball was a little bit of a yellow but uh you can paint him however you like you can paint him pink or purple or whatever if you want to go easterish but uh regardless that's it that's all I got for you today and uh, like I said, you can look forward to, uh, I'm going to do a silent video carving a, a hair uh, in cottonwood bark. So that will be coming sooner than later. And uh, yeah, that's it. So uh, I will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. And also a big thanks to those who bought me a coffee this week. Always appreciate it. Never expect it. And uh, till next time, see ya.